hey hello guys so welcome back so in this video we are going to understand this uh, uh, lead code contest question so first question we have is the find the power of kth size uh, sub arrays right and this is a uh, uh, contest question 137 we have uh, and uh, we have we are going to see the first question uh, find the power of k size element okay so the question is saying uh, let me zoom little bit not this with this one okay let's go with this first okay so as you can see here right so the question is saying you are given an array of integers num of length n and a positive integer k so the power of uh, a, an array is defined as uh, it's a maximum element of all its uh, elements are consecutive and sorted in a ascending order right so uh, what we have to do we have given uh, array and then uh, it is also saying we have given positive integers k right so the power of an array the power of an array will become what it's a maximum element of all its element that are consecutive and sorted in the sending order otherwise we will return minus one so what we have to do we will uh, find the power of all the subarray of the nums of uh, size k and we will return uh, array elements you can say of size uh, n minus 1 plus k where result of i is the power of the element of n uh, you can say i and k minus 1 like that right so as you can see we have given these uh, elements right and we have given k right so we are getting the output like this so uh, you can see here the explanation we have given what we have given so as you can see here we have given the array right so there are five uh, sub array of uh, the, the given array nums and of size 3 so if you will go with the k k is nothing but the size that we are going to form for the sub arrays right so you can see here we have five sub arrays one two three uh, you can see the above array right here right here so as you can see first we will go with one two three then we will go with two three four and then we'll go three three four three like that we have uh, all these uh, these sub arrays right of the size three then what we have to do we have to do like the maximum element right so what is the maximum element three maximum element four right like we can say what is the maximum of this sub array so we will get three four three so whose elements are not consecutive right these elements are not consecutive so we will not consider this whose elements are not uh, you can say sorted so whenever we will not get the uh, consecutive and not sorted right in that case we will consider minus one otherwise we'll get the exact value that we are saying so that is why it was saying uh, uh, we will get the power of its maximum element of all its uh, consecutive and sorted in the ascending order right so when we will find all the sub arrays we have to find the maximum element of the given uh, sub arrays right that we will build after the uh, getting the sub arrays arrays you can say and we have to find if it is not consecutive we'll return minus one if it is not sorted we'll do minus one and like that you can see the output here i hope you understand this problem and statement also so let's go to see the you can say uh, answer right let me make it bigger okay so now you can see what we have done here right so first of all we'll go with uh, uh, the signature we have given right we'll take the length of this element and we'll create a uh, result array because we have to form this uh, array right so number of sub arrays we can get uh, from that we have to get one maximum element if it is not max element we'll give minus one if it is co not consecutive and sorted right for that we will create the result and then what we will do we have our uh, for loop we will traverse all the elements we'll check the valid is true or not we'll go with the max element we'll start from the uh, index i uh, whenever we'll go with the sub arrays right so sub arrays first element will be the max element right but when we'll go with we'll compare with all the elements we have to <coughs> sorry <coughs> what we have to do we have to find the max element for that what we will do we'll go with the i plus one to the next element right till the i plus k and we'll check all the consecutive elements if it is not equal to and it should not be equal to right like that and we'll check is valid right is valid if it is uh, uh, not valid right because initially we have taken is valid is true if it is not like this case right is not equal to then what we will do we will make it false and then we will break so we will get our maximum element by using 
max element and num of j once you will compare all the elements we'll check if it is valid we'll put the result into the max max element will put into the, into the result set and then we will uh, either we will go with minus one right that we have seen and then we will return the result so this is very easy problem right and i hope you understand the problem so i want to uh, i want you to if you understand the problem and the solution right so please uh, uh, write the write the uh, code you can say uh, as well as you also put the uh, description of the code right what the lines are saying right and then you can also provide time complexity and space complexity in the comment section thank you guys thank you for watching this video i hope you like this video thank you thank you for watching this video